Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Click me. <laughs> yep. There you get them going. Here, there's three pieces. Three media got a service animal. Uh, Best part of the job. Sam hardly working. Mm -hmm. I can't help it. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, there's a good boy. Being held prisoner. All right. <laughs> Sun is shining. The I Dream Media Crew is here, bright and early. Fourth of July. Fourth oh, of yeah. July install. What is up, YouTube? We are out here just having a happy Fourth of July. Just I don't know. If now you've dated the video. Now they'll know how later I'll put the schedule is. <laughs> happy Independence Day, Patriots and non-Patriots alike. Anyways, um, we are going to be doing. An install today we're going to be doing a theater room and this theater room is going to consist of a 5.1.4 atmos system with a 75 inch tv mounted up on the wall and downstairs in the living room and patio we're doing a little distributed audio system with sonos as well as a frame tv in the living room and installing some access points ubiquity ubiquity seems pretty straightforward we're gonna get off early today. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I hope you like our video. If you're not a subscriber already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up. We're gonna go ahead and get inside and get this started. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, so this is the room that we're working with here. Um, you can see that it is pre-wired a little bit um, right here in the front left and the front right. Uh, this is the 75 inch Sony that we're gonna be mounting up on the wall that I was telling you about overhead. It's not pre-wired. So we're actually gonna have to put our wiring in place. We have, uh, we're gonna do mids and rears overhead and there is a smurf tube running down to the front of the room so what we're going to do is we're going to cut into that tube and run our lines down this exterior wall so we don't have to do any sheetrock repair now here at the back of the room we're going to be putting in in walls here and here in the pre-wired locations now let me show you the speakers that we're working with we got the 90 rt from polk it's a pretty nice speaker yeah. um, and this is what we're going to be using for the atmos Enclosed back. Enclosed back, yeah, that's real nice. Almost fully enclosed. Quality speaker. Um, and then, Grayson, you want to show us what we're going to be using for our front left and right yeah. as well as rear left and right? These are the 265RTs. Um, I believe it's an LCR speaker because you have two woofers and a tweeter, one inch mm -hmm. tweeter. It does it's have wall distance. It is a ported speaker, which is pretty impressive. Wall distance adjustments and tweeter adjustments. Show me the back of this guy. All right, got pretty nice magnets. Heavy, gold plated terminals. It's nice. Okay, and then what are we using for our center? Um, our center. Grab that. Some of the uh, clips. Mm -hmm. R34C, and we're gonna wall mount this right up underneath the TV here. So what we discussed with the customer is a 14 inch from the stand to the bottom of the TV, and then we're gonna center up that uh, R34 right there up underneath. And then powering everything up with this Onkyo NR787. You can see the guys already got the moving blankets laid out. We're gonna start by getting all of the speakers cut into place and the wires ran. We'll update you guys as we complete the work. All right, so mounting the TV here, we want it to be a specific measurement. We want 14 inches off of this entertainment center. Uh, so I've measured the length of the, from the bottom of the TV to where the top of the mount will be. And I've added that to the 14 inches. So I've gotten 31 and a half inches. I'm gonna mark that on the wall and that's where the top of our mount will be. The dream media difference, guys. We never leave your house dirty, no matter how big of a mess we make. 
All right, guys, we're in full blown beast mode right now. We got Grayson cleaning up. We got Carlos popping in a speaker over here. We got Jerry getting all the lines li lined out and ready to go for our in ceilings. We got uh, Sam working on getting our power killed so that we can move our outlet up for the TV and get the bracket attached to the wall. Coming along. Let there be light. You like the little obstacle course? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? It was like a jungle in there. You have the tester? All right, here's what's going on in the ceiling, guys. We got our two lines for the front highs up in there, and we're working on tracing out the rear highs now. Just putting a little hole in the middle of the speaker where it goes, and then we're shooting our lines up. Once we have our lines ran, we'll cut the rest of the hole and pop it into place. Carlos is going to attach all of those to the fish tape, which is coming out down here through our smurf tube. And we're gonna pull our lines out right there. All right, now we can start popping these puppies in. Mm -hmm. So, got Carlos pulling the extra slack out and Jerry's gonna carefully insert this right into the ceiling. And then these just have little toggles, just like the end walls. Um, you just screw them down and they cling right onto the sheetrock. Just like that. guys here is the downstairs distributed audio I can't even record as fast as these guys are popping them in Jerry and Carlos are machines take a look Got an in ceiling speaker here Got an in ceiling speaker over here the model sonnets Mag 6R, the exact model. Nice little speaker. Here's the access points that we're installing throughout the home for the customer. But these have a nice clean look to them. Oh, and these have a rotatable woofers and tweeters too. Nice. All right guys, so we are now moving on to the patio. We're gonna be using this motorized mount for the customer. It's my first time using this, so we're gonna have to kind of just see how it goes. We got the Mag 06, uh, six and a half inch outdoor speakers. You can see the pre-wire termination is like right under, well, he has his fan, uh, he has his light here and he's gonna put a fan there and the plate is gonna be right underneath the fan. So what we're gonna be doing is moving the wiring out further, like to the edge, and we're gonna position the speakers firing inward on both sides. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. Um, the plan is here is to shoot the fish tape, it's right here, up into that small little hole, and then hook it. All right, well, we are coming to a close on this project, and you can see we have our end ceilings Looking really nice and sharp. We have our frame TV mounted up on the wall here. Went ahead and capped off his wires and made the connect cable go down through the wall so that it sits nice and slim close to the wall. It's looking really nice. All 
Everything's terminating down here, down below. See the guys bundled up the wiring for them, making it look nice and clean. And then out here on the patio, cute little doggy, we have. Oh, hey there. We have the speaker left and right up there. And we're actually coming back for this little hydraulic mount because we were discussing with the customer the location that it needed to be mounted and he uh, he didn't feel comfortable. You want to explain what the situation there, yeah, Sam? Yeah, essentially uh, it's a really hefty automatic hydraulic mount. It's remote and uh, you know, it's not a big TV he wants to mount, it's a, but the mount itself is really heavy. So the only way that we can get it at the angle that he can view it from the rest of his uh, porch area is if we only mounted it into like only two of the screws would be into studs. The back half would kind of be empty and uh, with this decorative board up here, it really wouldn't support it. Um, so he felt more comfortable and he's gonna get some uh, plywood so he can connect to multiple studs. And he's gonna paint it and have all that done and then we'll come back out and we'll mount that mount. Perfect. Sometimes, uh, you know, things don't aren't as easy as we make it look. Um, we need creative but, solutions. Yeah, we come up with solutions, and then, you know, if we need to reschedule, we do reschedule, make sure the job gets done right. Um, I'm going to show you in the closet where the Sonos equipment is terminating, as well as the networking gear. All right, guys, so this is where all of his uh, network switch and his Sonos amps and his Wi-Fi is all terminating. Um, you see, we put in this switch here, basically distributing through his entire house. Um, it comes through this panel along with uh, uh, some of the audio from uh, the porch in the living room. And we installed these Sonos amps and uh, we have it all managed down there and uh, yeah, managed through the wall. And it turned out really clean for the amount of wires that we uh, put through here. It was, uh, it was quite a process. Well, it looks really nice. So to give you an idea, guys, uh, these amps will give the customer the ability to independently control these zones. Uh, this being the patio, this being the family room kitchen. And then this is just a surge protector back here and uh, uh, also going to be removing noise from the line. And then this is a PoE injector as well as network switch. So this is powering up his access points that Grayson installed on the uh, patio, bedroom, and game Upstairs, room. Upstairs, yeah. Yeah, three throughout the home. So he has nice solid Wi-Fi coverage. And last but not least, we will take you upstairs and uh, show you the theater. Ooh, it's a big one. And this is the theater room. Everything turned out beautifully. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And we're gonna go ahead and give you a rundown as to exactly what we did here today and the devices that were used. Let's take a walk through. So we got the Polks as our front left and right. Here. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the... Uh, the <laughs> The, the 34. 34. This is the R34 center from Klipsch. And then we got a little R8 over there. Mm -hmm. As well as our Onkyo uh, 787, which is powering the whole system. The configuration that we're running is a 5.1.4 Dolby Atmos system. Down below, you can see we have our devices hooked up, a couple gaming consoles, the Xbox and the PlayStation, as well as a Roku Ultra, and then the Logitech Harmony Pro system, which will make it easier for the customer to control all of the devices with one button press. And then this is the television, the customer supplied Sony 4K TV, which we did wall mount. It's the 850 series. And we put a power outlet up in there, bringing everything to code, as well as concealed the HDMI and did an audio return cable for our smart features. Overhead. These in ceilings turned out beautiful, no hiccups at all. We got our ideal location, rear of the room, same speakers we used in the front. And that's our surround right, this is our surround left. So whenever you guys are running an Atmos system, this is pretty typical, this is kind of what you're going for. You want your all of your fronts and your well, you could run front highs, but if you're going to just be running fronts, you want them as close to your level as possible, as well as your rears close to your level. 
the reason that you want them at ear level is so you get that separation in channel between like the car screeching around the corner versus your rain up here, your helicopter. So customer is happy, we're happy. Uh, this is an example of something that we can do for you. Keep in mind guys that we do sell all of these products and we have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. Mm -hmm. Now if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below for more. We're gonna keep these videos coming for you guys. This is Zach. Sam. And Grayson. We're all here at Dream Media. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.